All right, so is college worth it for web development and analysis and opinion? Now, before I begin, I want you to answer that question. Is college worth it for web development, especially if you went to college and you are a web developer? Um, let me know what you think, and, and, and anybody can answer, but definitely let me know if you did go to college, and just let me know uh, in the comments before I begin, and then I'll, I'll give you my thoughts. Oh, and hey, I'd like to mention this video's sponsor, Skillshare.com. Now, it's a brand new year here in 2019, and Skillshare will help keep you learning and thriving as they offer 25,000 different classes in coding, design, business, and more. For instance, you're about to watch my video about web development education, but after watching, you can skip the college route and get right into it here at Skillshare. Skillshare is also super affordable with a subscription that only costs 10 bucks a month, but if you're one of the first 500 of my subscribers to click the link below here in the description, you get the first two months free, so take advantage. All right, so the cost of computer uh, science bachelor's degrees, which are four-year programs, um, I'm just gonna look at the cost here in the United States because that's where I'm from. Now, according to collegecalc.org, and by the way, any other stats I give in this, there's gonna be, um, the source is gonna be cited there in the YouTube description. Um, according to collegecalc.org, the average out-of-state college costs $167,000 plus dollars. Now, that does, that's not just tuition, that's room and board. Um, tuition would probably be less than half of that. Um, still, a massive amount of money. Um, the very cheapest colleges in and out of state charge, um, based on that same source, I was, I was browsing around, um, you know, $18,000 just for tuition, um, up to around 40 plus thousand dollars uh, just for tuition for four years. And so we're, we're talking about, you know, this is a a huge investment. Um, even if it's you're not paying it for yourself and your parents did, it's still their money. Massive amount of investment. Um, monthly student loans. So a thirty thousand. We'll just assume you know uh, your student loans. Uh, you didn't have your parents pay for it. And and again, in this economy, not many parents are being able to pay the whole thing. Uh, a we'll just say a thirty thousand dollar loan um, over ten years is around three hundred thirty three dollars per month. Um, and I know this is a fact as well. Uh, my wife, uh, she had an RN uh, degree for four years and she took out a loan for the full cost, which is $30,000. Um, and it was 330 bucks per month. And we just paid that off about two years ago. Um, and you cannot file bankruptcy on your student loan debt, all right? Um, I don't really think you should be able to because it's something that you agreed to do, right? Um, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of people disagreeing with that though. Um, web developer salaries. Um, so this source says that the medium web developer salary is right around uh, $67,000. I saw another source from indeed.com that said it's around 75,000. Um, there is one that even showed it a little bit less than this, but it's, it's in the ballpark here. Um, and of course, you know, when you hear about people making six figures, these are people who have a lot of experience. So the 70th, uh, 75th percentile, you know, they're making a rate around 93,000. And if you're just starting out, you're gonna be making around 50,000 or less. All right, so salary versus student loans. So assuming you make that $50,000 per year when you start out, which would be uh, pretty good if, you're, if you have no experience, uh, you're gonna net around $40,000. And again, we're talking about United States um, after taxes. So Uncle Sam takes, steals, $10,000 of your money. Sorry, the libertarian to me is, uh, is coming out a little bit. Um, so that, that comes out to around $3,300 per month after taxes. So you're taking home $3,300. And that sounds like a good amount. Um, but again, you have to remember these things. Rent and mortgage, you know, that could be anywhere from 500 to like 12, 1300 dollars per month. We'll just say maybe like 800. Um, utilities, again, that could be anywhere from two to 400 dollars per month. Your food, that could be from like 300 to 500 dollars per month. Your uh, ISP, uh, and if you have cable, that's another. You, you definitely need the uh, your your internet service provider doing this work. Uh, your phone, uh, gasoline, and other miscellaneous expenses. You'll be lucky afterwards. Uh, to, to have a thousand dollars. 
if you make around $3,300 per month. Um, so then you have to worry about your student loans. Uh, and again, it, it, you're, you're at, I'm not sure what the stats are on you know, people who have parents that pay for it or what the average student loan debt is. But, you know, going back to that $333 per month, I mean, that's going to leave you with just a few hundred dollars. Now, this is uh, a couple screenshots of a computer science degree curriculum um, at a, a local college uh, that's that's local to me. I have to imagine these curriculums don't change up that much uh, from college to college. Uh, so year one, we could see we have programming, programming and problem solving. That sounds great. But then we have calculus one and writing one. Uh, so your, your first semester is going to be just one third of it is specific to something relating to, you know, what you kind of want to do. Um, next we can see we have data structures and objects. That sounds good. But then we have calculus two, writing two and communication foundations again, just a minority of what you want to focus on uh, exists here. Um, year two, advanced object-oriented programming. That sounds good. Computer organization. Not sure if that's really specific to web dev. Probably not. Um, an, introduction, an introduction to professional ethics. You know, again, this, this is not necessary stuff for the purpose of a web development role. And we can see it's the same thing basically going all the way down. So... I wanted to include um, 2018 stackoverflow.com survey here. And this is just a few screenshots. It's a very long document. I'll link it uh, in the description here. Um, now, how many developers are students? Um, about one quarter of respondents are enrolled in a formal college or university program, full-time or part-time. I decided to include that, but that simply means how many developers who are currently taking the survey are actually students. All right, so educational attainment. Now, this one's... We could see if we start right here at bachelor's degree and we go up, and th this is the way they, they structured it, basically no education all the way up. Um, we'll start right here at bachelor's degree, 46.1% actually have a bachelor's degree or greater. And this and this is like around 70%. So this is one of those things where you're thinking to yourself, wow, you know, 70% of developers have a bachelor's degree or greater I'm going to need one too, um, and that's that sounds like a reasonable conclusion. But if you consider, I uh, when it comes to in, in the United States, I can only speak for the U.S. I uh, public education when you're in high school or you're in middle school, as as early as middle school, even less. I uh, they're really pushing the idea that you must have a degree. I know that's how it was uh, back when I graduated in 2002, and I'm sure that's probably you know, how it still is these days. Um, and so when you have so many people, you know, who have been conditioned, you know, practically their entire life that you must have a degree, that's why so many people uh, go to college. Um, the, those individuals in this category who actually became web developers, I have to imagine if they paid for it themselves, a lot probably regret it uh, simply because of the massive amount of cost and also how little time is actually spent being focused on your interest, in your, your subject matter of web development. Uh, the way web developers learn on their own, I thought I would uh, include this. This one was interesting. We have all the way up here, official documentation, questions to answer on Stack Overflow, uh, a book or ebook of some sort, online developer communities other than Stack Overflow, um, the technologies on the house help system, and then all the way just at 20% is just a college, university, computer science, or software engineering book. Um, I thought I would include that because I was a little bit interesting as well. Now here's some just uh, personal anecdotals here. Can you teach me this? <laughs> so I uh, there's been a lot of people who I uh, have just graduated with a computer science degree, um, even a couple personal friends, uh, and and when they came out of that four year program and they wanted to get into web dev stuff, I uh, they really didn't have much of a clue. Uh, and that, and I mean, really that's going back a, a few slides ago. I uh, looking at that curriculum, very little amount of your time is spent learning web dev. All right. It's very important when you consider the amount that, you know, the, the cost involved uh, with it. 
Um, and then also, Gary, thank you so much. I've learned more from you from than in college. And so that makes sense if what you want to do is web development, and that's all I teach. I, and of course, if you're looking at my YouTube channel, it is a 100% free resource. Now, my predictions, colleges and computer science degrees will become less popular and if they don't change. And I mean that in terms of price and curriculum. The, the price is, is way too high and they're not going to be able to get away with it uh, when we have these awesome internet resources from which people can learn. And the, and the curriculum as well, I again, I think they need to offer uh, more specialized and, and niche sort of degrees uh, for them to really compete and to make sense, such as one specific to uh, web development. Um, and then internet learning resources are going to continue to grow. Uh, Pluralsight, I have 25, I think, courses there that I've created. LinkedIn Learning, I did a couple for them. Code Academy, Udemy, Udacity, Tuts Plus, Free Code Camp, Khan Academy, Skillshare, YouTube, Google, etc. Uh, and also the Coding Boot Camps. Um, these are all alternative learning resources for web dev that are going to give you much more hands-on practical experience in the field as opposed to just going to uh, a college campus where you're, you're focused on other topics outside of the, the niche. Um, so that's, that's really my predictions and what my suggestions are. Uh, I don't care if it's your parents. I mean, it's your parents' money is your parents' money. They could do something else. If they're going to give you that money uh, and you want to be a web developer, and, and, and the purpose of that money is to help you, I would tell them, help me uh, buy a house <laughs> instead. Let me, help me put uh, maybe a down payment on a house uh, because if you're truly interested uh, in web development, especially front-end development and stuff like that, I, I just I do not advise going to college in this day and age, especially the internet with all the awesome and vastly uh, less expensive resources that you have available to learn through all these. Uh, and, and this right here, this list right here may just be uh, 5% of the resources out there that exist on the internet. Um, so definitely, especially if it's your own money and you know your parents aren't going to be able to afford it and you want to do web development, I'd say, I, I, this is my, my personal suggestion, don't go with a college route. You do not need it. What you need is, a, is, is solid experience uh, and you can do that in a lot of different forms. You take uh, all these different courses and these learning platforms, or just a few, uh, and you get your feet wet with real projects, uh, and you build a portfolio. That's one of the most important things that employers want to know. Now, of course, there's still some employers I uh, you know, at the very, very, very top end, like the, the biggest corporations, they will want uh, computer science degrees, but overall, what is most important is your experience, um, and you can de definitely demonstrate that through a portfolio. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, about what I just said uh, in the comments here. What do you think? Let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.